Put it into two. So you can write this lesson down. Velocity time graph. I do have to say though, I do kind of like Windows 10. It's nice. It's nice. I, yeah. I thought Vista was terrible and 8 was, yeah. Windows 8 was terrible as well. But 10, I kind of like Windows 10. It's not like XP. Yeah. X, XP is still the best, but 10 is a close number too. Okay, uh, velocity time graphs, you have that? Yeah. yeah. Right, uh, okay, so, um, before we start, a little bit of a sign convention. So, we were talking about vectors, but we can use numbers to represent vectors as well in one dimension. So what I mean by that is, for example, uh, pen. if somebody is heading east or if they're heading west, we can make the difference with a sign. So for example, if they're heading east, we can say that's 3 meters per second east. But if I put a minus in front, I can indicate it's to the left. Okay. So the first thing which you probably already know is a positive number is to the right horizontally, whereas a negative number is uh, to the left horizontally and then of course vertically a positive number is up and uh, vertically a negative number is down. You don't have to stick with that. In fact if you swap them that's fine. This is just the usual situation. But it's totally fine to say this one is positive and this one is negative. That's totally fine. Okay so with that out of the way um, Again, just me saying a real number could be a vector. So if I said s equals one meter, that means one meter to the right. If I said s equals minus one, that means one meter to the left. So that's all fine. Okay, so now our first definition, um, acceleration. Now acceleration is probably something you already know. Uh, first thing to say about acceleration is it's a vector. So that's the first thing to say. And it's defined as the rate of change of velocity per time. So as a formula, the acceleration is the change in the velocity divided by the time taken to change the velocity. Uh, I'm going to look at what that means in a moment. Uh, delta V is the change in velocity. Delta T is the time that has passed. And the unit, uh, I didn't write the unit down here, but you can probably see what the unit is because we've done that last week. The V is what unit? Yeah, uh, meters per second. And the T is? Second. Seconds. Second. Yeah, so in total it's meters, per, meters per, second. per second squared is the unit here. Um, okay, so this definition, the formal definition is acceleration is the rate of change of velocity per unit time. So if you can write this down, this is what you might be asked for in the exam. As a formula, it's given like this. Okay, so if you can write this down, please. Uh, acceleration is the noun. What is the verb? Accelerate, yeah. And the antonym? You know antonym? No. Yeah, antonym is the um, opposite. So the antonym is deceleration. Very good, yeah, that's the other word for it. Very old word to be used in though. Um, did you have an old? Did you have an old physics teacher? Yeah. How old? There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. No. This is the this is the word you will see in older physics books. Retardation. But I have a feeling that it's not used for the reason that you're thinking. Um, so deceleration. <coughs> Okay, do we have this definition? Yeah. Right, so some naming convention here. Um, letter U will stand for, well, yeah, you probably know this already. 
the velocity at the beginning, which is called the initial velocity, v, the velocity at the end, which is called the final velocity, a, as we just saw, is the acceleration, how much the velocity has changed, t is the time that's passed, while accelerating from u to v, to be more precise, and s is the displacement, the position, that is, where it is at the end compared to where it was at the start. Again, don't confuse that with distance. Displacement is where it is compared to the start, not distance. Okay. Um, right, so you, can you just write UVATS and their names? So you can call it initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration time, and displacement. If you can just write that, please. I'm sure you've seen these before, but maybe the names you might need to brush up on. Um, not everybody, of course, studied physics in English. Uh, you studied in English, did you? Yeah. You have, you have. You studied physics in English? Yes. Great. Yeah. You too? Yeah. Ah, it's only you. Oh, that's so sad. All right. All right. And so, if you have any questions in English, anyone here can help you. They'd be happy to help. Yes? What course? Um, A levels or GCSEs or, uh, yeah, or something I like it? Uh, AS. AS, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. But, uh, not in physics, maths. Maths, AS yeah. then. Physics you did? Uh, only uh, O levels. O levels, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In English as well, yeah. everything in English. Good, yeah, yeah. Okay, can I go to the next slide? Yeah. Okay, so um, just an example here to explain the U V A T S. So the U is the velocity at the beginning. So what would it be here? What would the U be for this? Zero. It'd be zero, of course, because everybody starts from rest. Um, the V, roughly, what would the V be? I don't know, no, no, uh, no, no, it would actually be more than that, because, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's 100 meters, and you yeah. finish it in 9 seconds. Yeah. Finish it in 9, nine point something seconds. So the V is usually about about 14 meters per second <coughs> at the end, it's about the V. Uh, of course, what's the S? 100. 100 here. It has to be 100. But then what if it like, goes around? We're just doing this one with the same vault. Um, because, uh, well, actually, yeah, this is the 100 meter dash. Uh, just an example I thought you knew of from the, the news. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Um, and the T is 9.6. No, 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 it's better than that. What did he get? 9.61 or something? No, the record is. 9.58? Yeah, yeah, it's 9.58. Yeah, 9.58 is great. Um, so this is just a simple example of the UVATS. Yeah. Um, okay. So remember, velocity can be positive or negative. Positive is forward and negative is backward. Because it's a vector. But speed is only positive okay also displacement can be positive or negative again forwards or backwards because it's a position but distance can only be positive do not confuse speed and velocity or distance and displacement okay so this is in red and it has warning up the top Okay, so you might want to make some note here not to make this mistake. You don't have to write all of this, but make some note. You understand what I mean or not? You understand? Yeah. It's okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, continue? Yep. Yeah. 
Now, true, they are usually the same. For most questions, they're the same. Speed and velocity, distance and displacement. So sometimes I'll use the words both ways, um, but they're not always the same. You have been warned. Okay. Uh, right. It's often very convenient to represent motion on a graph. In particular, time on the x-axis and velocity on the y-axis. Now, what's great about these graphs is that they can really sum up the story very clearly. And I'll explain uh, the graph here, the different stages in the journey. So, if we're thinking about a car, so what we're saying here, this is the time and this is velocity. So here, the car starts at rest because its velocity is zero. Okay. This here represents the car accelerating slowly. So it slowly starts moving. This one here means the car accelerates quickly. So that means the person puts his foot more on the pedal, yeah? So he starts to get faster, faster, faster. This one here is steady speed. So just speed not changing. So for example, no acceleration, yeah? So this could be the car starting on a small road, and then, yeah, first gear, uh, and then this is the car entering a motorway, a highway. The car accelerates as it goes down the ramp, and then when it reaches the motorway, it travels at a constant speed on the motorway. You know, something like this. Then the driver sees somebody jump out in front of the car and decelerates quickly. Or do. Uh, yeah, well, we'll decelerate quickly. We'll hit, we'll hit the brake. And now, for this part of the journey, uh, stopped. He hits the wall and the back. Uh, well, I was thinking in my story that he reverses the car backwards to see if he can help the person that he nearly killed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is the car going backwards <coughs> because the velocity is negative. Mm -hmm. So this is um, accelerating backwards and then travelling at a constant mm -hmm. speed backwards. So, yeah. so this you know, can tell a complete series of events like this. Um, I would like you to copy this in your notebook. What's really useful here as well is the vocabulary, like rapid deceleration, steady speed, accelerates quickly, um, speeds up in opposite directions, so this is reversing. You know. um, please write this down, and really, not only is the diagram important, but the vocabulary is useful here. Okay, so if you can copy that. Is it a bit too small? I can maybe um, I can zoom in a bit. Uh, which picture <coughs> is this? Number two, I think. <coughs> it'll open in a second. It's a PDF. You can press Control Z to Control. Oh well, the image opened anyway. It's good to know for next time. Okay, and zoom. Any better? Yeah.
going in circles. Mm -hmm. How would the uh, would be the velocity? Velocity. The velocity changes as it moves. So the velocity is always a tangent that points out from the circle. So it's kind of not one velocity, but it's like a movement yeah. changing with time. Um, okay, did we get all of this? The velocity would be constant. No, it wouldn't, because it keeps changing direction. It's the speed that would be constant. How would you draw something like that? Uh, Is it a straight line? You can't really, because these graphs are only for motion in one dimension. Whereas this is in motion in two dimensions. So you can't really draw on a graph like this. It doesn't quite work. You could draw it time and its speed, yeah. but the speed would just be flat. Yeah. yeah. Okay, do we have this? Yeah, yeah we can continue. Yes, are you sure? Yeah, yeah? okay. All right. And so here's one to do. Um, I don't think this will cause any trouble for anyone. Uh, it's really just practice making a very simple graph, just a rough graph. A car starts from rest. It slowly accelerates to 20 meters per second over 10 seconds. It then maintains its speed. What does this word mean, maintains? Yeah, it keeps the speed constant for five seconds before suddenly decelerating to rest in four seconds. Draw the graph. Okay. So I'd like you to try and draw this graph for me. And um, what I really need to see it are the numbers on the X and the Y. Should we write the question? Ah, you don't have to if your English is good enough. Um, did you know that maintained meant constant? <coughs> I'll draw it as well in a minute, but I just want to see how you draw your graphs if you have all the labels correct on it. There was a time velocity graph. You have a graph, some people do? You have one? Let me see. Ah, no, no, I don't expect it to be. Mm, almost. I mean, there's just one tiny, tiny, not mistake, but something to write differently here. I'll explain now in a moment if you do it. Yeah. Uh, no, I know this is a bit old school. Did you have an old physics teacher as well? No, okay. Old fashioned, maybe. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Is anyone Mr. Benjamin? <laughs> Your teacher? Yeah. It's a pretty old name, too. Where's your name? Okay, so I'm going to draw the graph, but only one student. Um, Oh good, okay. Two students remember to put the units in on the graph. Yeah, uh, meters per second per second. Yeah. Uh, so, let me draw it. And I want to show you how we draw graphs here. How you should draw them here. Alright. So, this is the X, which is called time or t and the way we do it here is we do t slash 
seconds. Now I know for you and in other places maybe they do it with brackets, uh, but this is not the usual here. So we write t slash seconds. So this means time in seconds is what it means. Uh, and then here vertically, this is velocity in meters per second. Okay. And uh, what does it? It goes up to um, first one is up to ten, isn't it? 20. And then it's twenty, 20 here. It starts at rest, goes up like this. Then it keeps the speed for five seconds. Yeah. So here is fifteen. Yeah. And then decelerates in four seconds. Yeah. Which is nineteen here. Okay. Uh, and also, I need to have a graph. So we can call this graph, you have a couple of choices, but maybe the easiest one is um, velocity. Yeah, or if you want to make it a little bit longer, velocity against time. We have the name it. Yep. Yeah. need a title as well. Uh, so this is a complete graph then. It's got title name of x, name of y, unit of y, unit of x, it's got its slash, its slash as well. Okay. And sometimes people might also write here v and, uh, sorry not v, what am I saying, t and uh, v. So this is for full marks. Okay. T and v no, no, uh, extra as well. I think it's a, too much, but if you did this, you would certainly get full marks for the graph question here. Okay, you lose one mark for everything you forget. So you forget to write the units, that will cost you a mark. Forget to write the name, time, and velocity. Now, actually, I should really call this time if I'm calling this one velocity. There, now that's better. Okay, so this will get you full marks. Can I uh, close this? You fixed your graph to include the missing information? Yeah. All right. Now, we are kind of jumping, or not pinning down exactly um, uh, formulas here, but that's what I want to work on next, is actually some formulas. So the starting point for making formulas for the different types of motion. I'll remind you of this from middle school. I'm sure you've done this in middle school. Uh, it's the distance speed time triangle. Do you remember doing this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's what we call it here uh, because it stands for distance, speed, and time. Oh. Uh -huh. So, um, it's pretty straightforward. If you want the distance, it's speed multiplied time. If you want the time, it's distance over speed, and if you want the speed, it's distance over time. So you don't need to write all of these three down because it's the same triangle, I'm just showing you how to use it. So just write down distance, speed, time, just draw the triangle at one step. Uh, but I know you've done this in middle school, even if you haven't studied physics, I'm sure you did this in middle school science. Yeah. Uh, so if you could just write that down, distance, speed, time, triangle, just draw it. Okay, so this triangle only works for a very special case. This triangle only works when there's velocity is not changing. That is no acceleration. So if your question has zero acceleration, you can use this triangle. Do you understand what I mean by that? Yeah. No acceleration, you're allowed to use this triangle. Yeah? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah? all right. <laughs> so what do we do if the velocity changes? Well, that's what we're going to have a look at now. Um, yeah, we're going to get into this. I don't know if I'll do the formulas today. Let me think. Yeah. 
We'll get there, don't worry. Okay, here's yeah, here's just a very quick question to practice using the triangle. So I'll just give you like thirty seconds to do this one. A boy walks two kilometers to school every morning. It takes him thirty minutes to walk this journey. What his what is his average walking speed? So what's his speed? And you may assume it's constant speed, that is no acceleration. Okay, so just use the distance speed time triangle. So we want speed, so what's the formula? Distance over time. So calculate it, please. And I want the answer in meters per second. Meters per second. Yes, that's what I want to do. You can use that, yeah, yeah. Um, have you got a calculator? Not with me right now. Back in your home? No, back at my home here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, your homestay or wherever, you're, your apartment. Where are you staying? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. You got that? So, the speed is the distance, which is 2,000 meters divided by the time, which is 1,800 seconds. So it's 1.11 meters per second, which is a pretty slow walking speed. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, it's not that slow. It's okay. It's not fast. It's actually okay. It just sounds slow, 1.1 meters per second. Um, okay. So you may be thinking the velocity time graph can tell us the velocity and the time. Well, yes, of course it can. Uh, but it can also tell us much more as well, which is what we're going to have a look at now. So I think, um, yeah, we'll have a look at what else we can learn. So there's a small little proof here I need you to write down. So let's have a look at it at velocity time graph here. Um, so what I'm going to do is have a look at just a, a simple motion like this. goes from U um, up to B, or whatever, something, something like this. So the first thing I want to figure out by just looking at the uh, slope here uh, let's see what it represents. So you, if you think about this, yeah, if you think about this from a uh, math class, this point here is u zero u, and this point here, well, if I call this t, it will be t and v. So the slope would be y two minus y one. So what will that be? V minus u over T minus zero. But this is how much the velocity changed, isn't it? Like for example, if this was six meters per second and this was ten meters per second, what was the change? Four meters per second. So this is actually the change in the velocity. And zero to t is the time it took to change the velocity. So that's delta t. So what does that represent? Acceleration. acceleration, yes. So the slope represents acceleration. Now, let's have a look at the units here. Just the, just the units. So what's the unit for this part? The units? Seconds. seconds. And the units for this part? Meters per second. So the area What's the units for the area? Well, the units will be meters per second times okay. seconds. So what unit will that finally be? Meters. meters. Just meters, because they'll cancel. Yeah. So if the, yeah, if the unit here is meters, then that must mean that the area is representing the, the distance. Yeah. So in other words, that the area is equal to S, displacement, yeah. Displacement? displacement. Well, technically, yeah, technically it's 
area is the distance, but again, as long as everything is positive, we won't worry too much about the mean. We'll look at that later. So right now we can say distance or S. I know I said 10 minutes ago that don't mix the two up, uh, but because this graph is in the positive region, I know everything will be okay. You know, the graph is up here where everything is positive. I only have to worry when it's in the other tree. You know, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so. So if we say it represents this placement. Yeah, it is fine. Yeah, if it's positive. Now, if you want to get very technical about it, it's technically area represents distance, technically. But here, the, it's clearly displacement as well, because it's positive. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, okay, so to summarize, U is the height at the beginning of the curve, and what does that represent, the initial speed? V is the height at the end, that's the final speed. A is the slope, which represents the acceleration. T is how big the base is, which is the time. And finally, F is the area. So U, V are on the Y axis, T is on the X axis, A is the slope, and F is the area. So you realize your graph has all the information on it. So if we go back to our example with Hussein Bolt, um, let's have a look at his graph. So I think for him, he this is our to, uh, our velocity in meters per second, and this is our time in seconds. And this is the same bolt. And it started velocity zero, zero. and uh, it'll probably increase, I'd say, to about fourteen, and then. It after about five seconds, and then it's constant until the end. And the end here is 9.58 <coughs> seconds. But we also know that the area here is what? 100. 100, 100 meters is the area here. So every piece of information is on the graph. In fact, if I think this, I think this is about five. So if I wanted the acceleration here, I could do it like this. I can do the change in the y. So how big is this? Uh, that's fourteen over five. Yeah. Yeah, about nearly three, isn't it? 2.8. 2.8 meters per second squared is his acceleration at the beginning. So my point is the graph contains all the information you need. U, V, A, T and S is all here. Oops. Great. We'll um We'll do this one question, and then actually that's the lesson just about finished, and then there's the homework there. So all I need you to do is write down this table, and then we'll make the graph together. Okay. So okay. this is the table for the time and the velocity at different, uh, different moments. So if you can please note this table, and then we'll, we'll graph it. Yes? 9.69. Oh, uh, no, it's not as good as you thought. 9.69. I thought 5.8 sounded too fast. No, no believe it. And it has the uh, maximum velocity. I, I also checked. 12.6. <laughs> it can't both be right. What was the maximum 12. velocity? 12.6. Oh, so I have them too fast at 14. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. 12 points. Official world record. He has to attempt the world record and the... 9.71 and there is no, the world record is... So we just write the table? Just the table and then we'll do the question together. It doesn't matter, it's going to be much faster than what any of us can do. Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. That hairstyle now would slow you down too much. That wind <laughs> resistance would be so great. Oh, 
Okay, do you have the table? Yes. Is that a yes? Yeah, okay, so um, I'll be lazy and make a nice, beautiful one here. Right, um, what's the first time? Is it zero? zero. Yeah, and the last time? Ten. Ten? Okay, and the first velocity? Zero. And next? Next, 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 yeah, 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 right, let's graph this. Okay, not this of course. That is, isn't it? I'm dirty cheer. Right, um, velocity, time, graph, x-axis is time in seconds, y-axis is velocity in meters per second, and then we, there we go, oh no, I need my lines to connect, ah, oh, rats, I didn't put in the, chart type, no, chart type, can I change it now, ah, here we go, Right, so that's what the graph looks like. Nice, yeah? So the questions are, what's the distance, acceleration, and deceleration? Right, now, uh, I can't really, I, I can't remember what the sh um, if there is an option to write in Excel. There's, it, no, not in LibreOffice, only in Excel. So I can't actually write on this unless, actually, can I snapshot it and paste it here? Maybe. Copy. Paste. Control V. Control V. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't actually work like that. We'll try. But I don't think this application supports. <laughs> it supports pasting? Yeah. It feels like every application to support pasting. Well, I know what does. Good old fashioned paint. Where's my paint? Yeah, just so I want to write on the graph, it'll make it easier. You can open it and then right click, save it as a picture, and then this application supports pictures. Important. It should. I'm surprised I can't paste though. No. Anyways, I'll just paste it in here. That's not going to do it. Sir, so, don't you have a whiteboard marker? Ah, uh, no, that's too old-fashioned. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I don't have a whiteboard marker. There we go. All right. So, um, let's, cal uh, whoops. let's calculate the area. Okay, so the first one uh, is this triangle here, which I'll colour in. So, do you remember the area of a triangle from school? Uh, Half the base by the height. So the base here is 4, which is 2, 2, ti two times 20. 40. 40. So this is a 40. I'll just write 40 here, okay? This one here is a rectangle. How big is the base? 1. And the height? 20. So the area is 20. 1 times 20. <coughs> Whoops. This one here is... 3 by 5, oh actually no sorry, this is 5 in total here isn't it, 5 times 5, 25 here, <coughs> and then finally this base, how big is it, 3, a half times 3 is 1.5, I'll just be finishing in a minute guys, yeah, uh, 1.5 times 15 is it, <laughs> yeah, so this one is 22.5, yeah. and then we just add them all up. That's okay, isn't it? I don't need to add, you know what to add. Uh, right, the last part now is the acceleration. So here it's the height, what's the height? Uh, 20 divided by 4, so the acceleration is 5 meters per second, yeah? And this one here, the height is 15. 15 divided by 3, 
it's not it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? It's five. Uh, and this case here, it's minus, minus five. Then, yeah. You've probably seen this before, haven't you? Yeah. Now, so your homework. So distance, acceleration, deceleration. Your homework is to do this uh, question here. The people who don't have Moodle, which is you and you have Moodle. No, you don't. You might want to take a picture on your phone so you can do it at home then. Are you attending okay to him? Great. All right, that's it. We'll finish there. Can I close this now? Yes. <coughs> is, is that an iPhone? Yeah. Oh, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> You'll send it to him? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Are they? Are they doing?